Welcome back, Western Slope. I am now joined by Keller Kubro with Doling Law. Thank you so much for stopping by the studio today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Always. So today we want to talk about statute of limitations. Yes. For viewers who may not know, talk about that a little bit more. Okay, sure. I'm happy to do that. So your statute of limitations is the time frame that you have to pursue a claim. Your the time frame to either um, file a claim, like in an accident situation, um, or file a lawsuit. And so if you don't resolve a claim or file a lawsuit by the statute of limitations, um, your claim is forever time barred, which means uh, you don't have the opportunity to come back later and try to do anything with that claim. Mm. And so that time frame here in Colorado for accident related uh, claims, most often, so if it's an accident involving an automobile, that's a three year statute of limitations. Um, from the time of the event, um, three years starts at that time. And then like for what's called a premise liability claim, uh, claims against landowners, things like that, it's a little shorter, it's a two year statute of limitation from the time that the event occurred. Okay. And so what I wanna make clear is <laughs> yes, you have that time, but it's not a permission slip to kind of sit back and do nothing um, in the interim. So, and that's, so that's my next question. How often do you have people come into your office and say, hey, my time limit's almost up. I want to get yeah, this done. <laughs> um, great question. And my answer is I see it way too often. Mm. Um, I've dealt with it twice today, actually. Yikes. And um, I see it a lot. And so what I want to convey to viewers is, sure, you've got a window of time and, you know, life is fast and crazy and mm. hectic and whatever. But if you are suffering from an accident, and you are dealing with symptoms, et cetera, go get the treatment you need. Go pursue those avenues to help you feel better and all those things. If you're, don't just go do that if, if you don't need it, but don't expect, you know, as the claim starts to uh, near its end, don't expect the claim to be worth something just because the event occurred. Mm. You've got to prove your damages in the state of Colorado. Go do those things to get you healthy. Um, and just make sure that you're paying proper attention, doing what your doctors are telling you. And that's gonna put you in the best possible position to A, get healthy, priority number one, and B, just protect the value of the claim to make sure that you're fairly compensated for your particular experience. Yeah, get the, job, get the work done so that you can get through the court process and make your job. Yeah, you and can do your job for them. Absolutely, and and you know it may not even be something that has to go to court as long as uh, you know we have the tools that we need and mm. we're equipped with those tools to pursue the claim appropriately. Okay, now if people have questions for you, where can they go? Yeah, you can call us at the office. You can find our information online, uh, dolinglaw.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for stopping yeah, by the studio you. today, Keller. Yeah. And we're gonna have all this information and so much more available on westernslopenow.com.